All right. Hi, ladies. So glad you all could jump on. I know everybody's been, you know, crazy busy. I don't even know where today went. So <laughs> I appreciate you guys giving us your time. Um, I think we kind of wanted to start off today, kind of see like how everybody's doing, first of all. So I guess we'll just kind of go down the list. And because Jamie was the first one on, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> So, Jamie, how are you? How are things going? Oh, busy, 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 but we're doing good. Doing good over here. Yeah. Not too much is not too much is going on, so that's usually a good thing. If I'm not at a doctor's office or something like that, it's a good day. Awesome. <laughs> How's your team doing? Uh oh. Um, my, I've got two people as far as my team goes. Yeah, and I've got some random actives but not a whole bunch of people going out and and doing their thing okay probably because i'm to blame i kind of dropped off here for a couple months so distance is key and i know better all right well maybe you and i can chat later this week mm -hmm. sounds good <laughs> <laughs> what do you do thursday <laughs> uh i have dinner thursday but i'm not busy tomorrow i'm gonna be driving for like four and a half hours. Huh? I'm driving to Arizona, so I have time. Ooh, yikes. That'll be a fun drive. Yeah, I've done it. It's quiet with no children. So Aha! <laughs> even better. <laughs> so maybe we can uh, squeeze something in then. Sounds good to me. All right. And how are you, love? Doing well. Just working while I'm on this call. Trying to fit in some makeup time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, How's your business going in? It's eh, it's okay. I need I'm still needing to um get up and get out of the house and get into some um groups and some extracurricular activities cuz being at home is not getting me anywhere. So, um I'm looking at getting into a yoga class and um, I was talking to my sister. She said something. Oh, a painting doing like one of those painting classes mm -hmm. where you get to drink wine or whatever. So that's always fun. Um, just something to do and get out. Um, and then I got something in the mail about the, the local, one of the local lakes in the area, some kind of um, like, clean up thing or something. So I think we're going to, uh, I need to look into that some more. So I got my boss enrolled and a coworker. And so they're making a game out of it. And we did their measurements and weights today because they said, whoever the loser is, is buying their next 30 day. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I've got four or five people at work, um, doing it. So that'll be fun to see. Okay. That all just recently started, so I'm hoping once they get on, girls lost 10 pounds in, like, 10 days. Wow. So I'm hoping she, you know, opens her mouth and starts talking, so. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great, honey. Well, at least you're, you know, you've got it all lined up, you know exactly what you're going to do. So, and you've had like some action, you've got movement going on. So that's, 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 that's awesome. Cause you actually did your homework. You went out and you're, you know, you're you know, you your business. So that's key. So. Yay. One thing I have a problem with, we, we want to have, um, my sister and I, a launch party. However, I can't do it at my house. It's too small. She has dogs and whatever, and we're trying to find a place to have a launch party, but we're sure to do it. Libraries will not do, they only want nonprofit stuff. Um, has anyone done it at a restaurant before? Um, um, a coffee house. Okay. Yeah, um, and I smaller coffee houses I just are good. I just presented at a um, Scotty's up north. She did one at like a bar restaurant, and but it was they could rent up like the top half. Okay. So, and the two oh. you gotta watch the two oh, yeah. Sometimes they're not 
very good oh, and it's hard to hear. That's so what I'm worried. The only recommendation for you is to make sure that the acoustics are good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're looking at that. Hopefully, we can get that squared away sometime soon. Do either one of you belong to a church? Uh -oh. Do you have like a neighborhood clubhouse or like an HOA clubhouse? Because those are good too. I can call mine um, and see if they'll do anything. I know a lot of stuff around here wants nonprofit, but um, I'll get on the phone tomorrow and call mine. I know she's got um, an aunt that, that lives in an apartment complex, and I know a lot of times they have a clubhouse. So I'll have her look into that too. So, Anne, are you in like an HOA then? We're in a, it's a Bella Vista community. It's like a, it was originally designed for a retirement community. So it's actually really big. There's like eight lakes. I don't know how many golf courses. Um, so I they mean, have like a little clubhouse where you can go and. They have a few of them actually. So I need to find out if they have like a separate room because well, a lot what of stuff I'm actually thinking for you would be kind of a cool thing is like a local, you know, health kind of, um, like if you do, um, get f kind of like a fit for, um, summer kind of thing or healthy, get healthy kind of like a class. Thing. Okay. You just basically can, you know, keep it open and talk about, you know, isogenics. And okay. kind of make a flyer and I can help you put something together and maybe okay. you pin it up in the little rooms and then they would allow you at one of those little rooms because you're not an, you're not a nonprofit, but you're not, you know, you can, I don't know. You're trying to do something for the community there. So yeah, the bad yeah. part is probably 75% of them are elderly. Okay. So, I mean, we do have some young, younger people moving in this area because it's, you know, it's cheaper and whatnot to build and stuff. But, um, yeah, I will definitely look into that, though. Okay. Becca Mog. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm dress eating like crazy. That's what I've been doing. I'm deep oh. cleansing because I tried to button my jeans. I was like, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> but anyway, um, and with work winding down and being done on Wednesday, I swear more people have wanted to talk to me in the last two weeks than the last six months. Oh, I yeah, am so awesome. Like, Leave me alone. Just go away. <laughs> awesome. But as for my business, I've <laughs> consistently been enrolling one person a week. Yay. And I really want to try to up people a week. Um, but even one a week, I'm happy with because it's consistency and I'm this, it's finally starting to snowball, which is exciting. Good. Congratulations on your president's pack, too. I Thank know. you. And that was Nicole Marquis. Oh, uh, was it? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's yes. awesome. Because I know she was so, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, you got on the phone and she, I said, okay, well, we talked about a, which package were you wanting to go with? And she said, which one was it that you said set me up for the best success? The president's <laughs> pack. Okay, that one. I'm trusting you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's, um, every, to everyone else, she's a hairstylist in uh, North Carolina with quite a bit of weight to lose and needing energy and just to kind of take control of her life back. So she's perfect for the business. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yep. No, we're going to set her in for success. She's going to be, she's going to be a runner. So, so didn't we, we got, did we get her color back? She was a, was it a blue? Oh, I haven't done that. I need to do that. Okay. It, Pause. I'm pretty sure she's a blue, but I need to actually have her. Okay. She might be a red. She was a little firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> okay, somebody's dialed in. I don't know who this number is. Who, who, who is Somebody it? in Colorado. It's Becca. Oh, it's Becca. Becca. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to be on. Hi. You know, they let me out two hours early, and I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, who else do we got on here? We've got Cynthia. 
He's in the dark. <laughs> Are you there, Cynthia? I see eyeballs, I think. I don't know. Okay, and then Don, are you there? I think Don on the thread said that she was just going to meet out with the kids. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Well, I am proud of you guys who you know who are sticking with it and being consistent. And for those of you who know what you need to do and um, owning it. <laughs> But, um, you know, I, you guys, it's, it's kind of funny because Teeny and I were talking today and you really never know what's going in somebody going on in somebody's life, you know, especially with Facebook. Yeah. We try to keep it upbeat and, you know, happy. And to be honest with you, I had the worst week ever <laughs> and nobody would really know that. Um, I didn't post on Friday, which was kind of little out of character for me and I still haven't posted today um, I have to move out of my home in about a month so I have to find a home for my family and I <laughs> they decided they wanted to sell the house early and we weren't quite prepared for that so um, things have been crazy but you know what I'm still pushing through we snuck away we went to um, oh hi it's our little secret uh, getaway and we went um, and we met these people. We were trying to find this waterfall and we met these people coming out and we asked them where the waterfall was. And they're like, oh, this way. So we kind of hung out with them and their family yesterday and didn't make it weird. Didn't even bring up isogenics, but you can damn sure I had my water bottle and my bars. <laughs> and I told Harry, we need to be, become Facebook friends. But we were somewhere where they, we had no like um, self signal for like three hours. And I was like, crap. So I was like, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just, so we exchanged numbers and you know, she accepted me on Instagram because she's on Instagram. So I took a picture of her family and I'm, I was holding it ransom. I'm like, find me and I'll say, give you the picture. So um, <laughs> one way to go about it. But, you know, sticking with it, being consistent, and, you know, it's okay to have rough weeks. It's okay to have bad days. It's, you know, life happens. But um, I did, you know, we did notice, you know, we came out raging, and right after celebration, everybody was, you know, happy and on board. And we have our, you know, accountability partners. I don't know. How many people are following in? I know I've had a couple people reach out to me, and I've actually adopted a couple um, because their accountability partners, you know, life took over and things happened. So it happens. But um, I would like, you know, to see how you guys are feeling about this. I know, I mean, is this working for you? Are you happy with it? So um, we just kind of want your thoughts, and um, we're going to touch on a couple things. I know. One of them is going to be like organizing, organization, because I know our little yellows um, don't do that well. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and, you know, as, as OCD that I can be at certain things, um, I'd like to be organized, but in the mad, crazy world that I live in with my family, it kind of gets overwhelming and sometimes it doesn't work out so well. So we're going to kind of touch on that too. But um, Teeny, did you want to share a couple things? Mm -hmm. um, sure. The first is um, we would really like to get back to posting things in um, Dreamers and Shakers page. Um, I know our messenger, our messenger is fun and it's um, it's been blowing up, but there's some people that can't um, continuously use that. And a lot of the information gets lost. So Marquis and I were talking about um, if you guys have a question about what to do or how to present something or something that's really business related to post it in Dreamers and Shakers. Um, that way people can go back and look at it and use it as reference, copy and paste things if they need to. And then if you just want some love on your post, um, then go into the um, messenger and just say, hey, I posted, would you mind showing some love? So um, that's part of our organizational too, um, our organizational talk. That will really help keep us organized as far as um, 
how we can respond to people's questions. Because I know, um, you know, if I get super busy at work and I can't be on my phone and then I go check it and I have like 27 unread messages and I'm like, oh crap. So <laughs> um, if we could just go back to using that page, that would be super, super helpful for, I think, for everybody. Um, and before I get into more of the organizational stuff um, and how to keep yourself organized, um, Mark, you touched on this a little bit, but um, I just feel like there's some people that have just kind of their, their flame is gone. There's no more flame. Um, and I know there's only a few people on this call and that for one concerns me. So um, we can't work as hard um, for everybody. Everybody's got to work hard for themselves. I can't want this as much, you know, I want this for every single per one of you guys, but you have to want it more than I want it. And so with that, like we had Marquis, Becca, Meredith, and I had no three-way calls this week. None. We weren't asked. We weren't none. So um, with that, that's a little concerning because we were supposed to be out there um, reaching out to people and meeting new people. So um, we, we want a $60 gift card for you guys. We want to give it away. We have a three-way tie. <laughs> right. So, and then also, like, if that's not what you guys, what it motivates you, I know that, you know, reds, that's motivating, but maybe it's the wrong type of gift. So, you know, when we have contests, this, this kind of makes us sound like, well, should we not have contests? Like, is no one interested? So we would love to have your feedback. Again, feel free to post it in the group. We are all friends and family here. Our feelings are not going to get hurt. We want you guys to be successful. So please, please, please let us know how can change this if it needs to be changed um, or if you just are like you know what I need to take a break and the only again you hear this over and over again the only way that you can fail is to quit so we don't want you to quit but if you need a break it's healthy to take it like Marcy Marquis said she took hers but I mean you talk about crazy busy life that girl is crazy busy but she still made a connection she still made um, time to, to do that so with that, I just say that with grace and love, and um, please let us know how you guys are feeling. If you want to private message us, you can as well, so you don't want to like blast it, but we'll take anything. What about you, Becca? Amen, sister. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I agree. I, I'm the yellow. I need, I need to be kind of guided as to what to do. I'm very coachable. But um, and I think that I'm not the only one. I think sometimes we get to a point where we're like, okay, now what? You know, what are we supposed to do next? Tell me, coach. And so I think um, definitely we need to check in with our accountability partners, whether it's text messaging or Facebook messaging or, um, you know, sending a quick video or whatever. I just think I would love for our group to get back um, to being on fire again. And, um yeah, I mean, I think there's different things that motivate people. Some of it is recognition. Like, I love being recognized. So dumb, but I love it. Like, I do, too. Tell me how awesome I am all the time, but I love it. I think I like it more than money, which don't tell my husband that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think maybe recognition. Um, I know that three of us are going to – well, actually, a lot of us are going to UIA this weekend, which I think is going to give our group a really good um, – boost because we're going to be we're going to be foaming at the mouth with information how's that for visual um so i'm excited to share this with you guys next week so i think we need to make it a point to make sure that we check in next week the monday after as well yeah we'll plan a i think if we'll plan another zoom call um especially to share what we you know our takeaways from that and you know maybe ramp everything up. I know we've got another launch party week coming up. So that's going to be here. Yeah. There's a new shake coming out. Um, this next, ah. I know I didn't know about it. I haven't even really been on Facebook. Jeannie's the one who told me, <laughs> she's like, what is this? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Hopefully they'll do it launch party week, but who knows? Oh, that would be amazing. They didn't do that last time. They waited. Yeah. I hope it's not along the lines of like black sesame or something weird. <laughs> no, but you, you made a comment, Becca, and I kind of want to touch back um, 
about your, don't tell my husband. Um, I know last week we had a lot of husband issues and Becca t made a video and shared about it. Um, I was actually, Harry is going to help me make a video and we talked, we had a two and a half hour drive out to Ojai and I know in the very beginning it was hard for, you know, he, he supported whatever I did anyways, but you know, in the beginning he was just like, Oh God, you're on your phone all the time. And he just, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Um, it wasn't until he, I drug him to a celebration that he got it. He knew I was making money. He didn't know how much. And you know, for those of us who've been in the business, you know, we had our ISO pulse with the amount, um, or how much we made that year, which was so helpful. I loved knowing how much I made because mm -hmm. it made me all giddy. They took it away. But um, we were sitting there, <laughs> and they were talking about the compensation plan. And that was the first time he actually heard it all together. And he just looked at me, and he goes, how much money have you made? And I was like, well, like, do you really want to know? And so I opened it up and I showed it to him. And at that point, it, I already had like, I was like at $68,000. And he just looked at me and his mouth dropped. I said, I told you, I told you. And at that point, his shift began, you know, began to change, um, wanting to be a little more involved. I know each story is different. Um, each husband, you know, Becca shared a little bit about hers. But ladies, please hang in there. And I, I know it's hard uh, because we are doing things out of the pockets of our life. And like Tini said, you know, I, I get busy. I totally get it. And I did everything out of the pockets of my life. I finally had to come to a point, um, and this was just more than recently, I start shutting down right about 9 o'clock. I spray my kids at seven. <laughs> They're in bed. I take, <laughs> I take that two hours and I like pump everything out that I can every night. I'll do it every night and I'll do stuff during the day and I make my hours, but making those hours and that goes back to organization. Mm -hmm. You have to schedule your time. Mm -hmm. You have to schedule that time for your husband too. Yes. Yeah. And because mm -hmm. they, Otherwise, they are going to start to resent this. So it's just finding that right balance and making them feel important. Because I know there's a few times where, and he's told me straight out, you know, and it makes me sad. It, you know, really hurts my heart because he's just like, you care more about them and you know what they need instead of me. And I don't ever want that. And I don't do it intentionally, but I do. I get so engrossed and I, you people speak my language. So it's a lot easier. You know, we're all on the same page. But they do need a little love, too. So maybe... Well, um, and men are pretty simple. Oh, they are. They just they, need food and sleep and yep. sex. Yep, <laughs> pretty much. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And, you know, as long as you give them those three things, <laughs> we should be good. But uh, You are good to go. But maybe, you know, this week, take one, each one of you try, um, shut down at nine o'clock or whatever time, you know, spend an hour, it, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a date. It doesn't have to be, you know, like last night we came home, put the, we sprayed the kids, put them in bed and then we, um, <laughs> we watched a movie. That was it. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it could be a show, it could be whatever, and I can't tell you the last time I actually watched a whole movie because, you know, it's not income producing, but <laughs> you still have to do that. Uh, <laughs> so take that time to do that, and I think you might see the shift, you know, they'll be able to see that you can handle this, and you can handle life, and, and him, and they won't start to resent it, and they might be, you'll, you might find that they're going to be a little more supportive in that. So... Um. Is it okay if I say something real fast? Absolutely. Um, I also found with my husband, first of all, in the beginning, he wasn't supportive at all. He'd say he was supportive, but he really wasn't. He'd throw out those comments like, oh, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. Um, you know, he gradually started to come around and um, little things just kind of start to add up. Like I had him pop consultant and 
he got paid. He went, this is nice. I got paid for doing nothing. Look at this great payday. Um, so even just some of those little things, mm -hmm. they help. No, they totally do. And, you know, once they start seeing the money, it's, it does, like my husband, it took that before, he, you know, he really was on board. Um, and, and, you know, some people get it faster than others. You know, and some people are a little slower. So, you know, everybody's different. It's your pace. It's your business. How much you put into it is going to, you know, this was really, I'm a red, so I think I had that in my favor. That's just how I'm wired. And I see a challenge and I just take it head on. I, and nothing gets in my way. So we just need to, you guys, we need to get you to channel that in a red. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's there trust me you're all moms you all have a piece of red in you <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and I I know with my you know my husband he's not I mean he's supportive but he's still like you know I have to make I, my special time I have to make sure my phone is put away I have to you know it's great he supports me making money but he still does not really comprehend our comp plan and I'm trying, and this is two years now. Um, I keep on asking, will you please watch this video? Will you please watch this video? So um, for those of you that don't have that support, like that 100% support, just keep on keeping on. Yep. I know what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, you're not alone, ladies. And that's, that's, I guess, what, you know, I wanted to say about that. And it's, it does suck. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and a lot of you, I know we're talking about, uh, getting to the events. They didn't want you to get to the events, mm -hmm. um, events and Becca, you are, my dear, are in for a treat because, and I know Tina, you've never been to a UIA, uh, other Becca, are, are you, have you been to a UIA? No, this is my first one. Okay. So, yeah, I went last year, and, oh, my gosh, this is by far the best training ever. And, uh, and I suggest we try to get you to go to one of those because um, you're – I know you're a white, but I know you're not afraid to go out of your comfort zone a little bit. You're willing to make those changes. And I uh, wanted to go, but the tickets were like $600. Airfare. I know. I know they got really expensive. So, um, I I don't know if they're televising this one. Are they putting it on the live? I don't know. I haven't heard. Okay. I, heard. I mean, we can post that in the group if they do. Okay. In, in relation to Phoenix, how is New Jersey? Um, so New Jersey is University in Action. I mean, it's, it's just a university. 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 It's not in action. So yeah. Okay. The difference with the action is the you, actually, you get bounced around and you are, I actually got annoyed and very angry in it <laughs> because I knew what I, I had my system and I was doing what I was, you know, what was working for me and it was deprogramming myself <laughs> and having to relearn things mm -hmm. that I thought I knew because how was I supposed to train my team? to make and do things that were easily duplicatable to others. So I never saw anybody I went with. We were bounced around so many times and it was, um, but it was the best training because it's a smaller intimate setting and it's amazing. I learned a lot about myself. I learned, you know, um, that's when um, Stephanie, my cousin came with me and she just, she and she didn't really want to do the business. It took her a long time. So, but um, yeah. Don asked if there was any in um, California, and Don, you can just go to isogenicsadvents.com and you can see where um, all the UIAs and and um, just isogenics universities are. Yeah, I don't think we have one this year. We did last year. That's why I went to that one. It was in San Diego. Um. But they do have them listed. There, um, I already have. I don't know where the other ones are. Yeah, we'll have to take a look. But um, the all the events are, you know, definitely going to change your business. And getting to them is what is important. 
yes, celebration is fun. And that's, you know, the big party party one. Um, same with NYKO. But if you can get to Super Saturdays, the more people you can get there, I mean, you're going to start to see a big difference. So that's where it's at. And that's, you know. Um, my brain is not working today. I'm sorry. I've like completely checked out. <laughs> so, um, I know we wanted to discuss um, a little bit on organization. So for me, I am very old school. And then I'll have um, Tini, I'll let you talk about because you probably do something different as a blue. And <laughs> Becca. I don't know what your organization looks like. <laughs> so, I don't like, know either. It's changing, ever changing, it's evolving. Okay. So <laughs> for me, um, I have two dry erase boards right here on my wall, right next to my computer. So every time I sit down, um, I write, and because I'm very visual, I write who's starting that week. So I know to keep close tabs on them. Um, so they don't slip through the cracks or feel like, you know, I, I, they're being, you know, missed. Because when we got so many people going and whatnot and throughout our days, it's just, you know, you don't want them to feel, you know, alone and abandoned. So I put, put their name on that week. I will look through and I'll go down my list or, you know, whoever I enrolled and just got their packs, they go on that list. And I check in with them, if not every day, just, you know, hey. You know, how's things going? Whether it be on Facebook, in the group, the more you get them connected to play in the group, the more they're going to, you know, be successful and, you know, stay on the products. So that's the number one thing. Um, I also post, you know, who's got orders going in because a lot of them, yes, we have them on auto ship, but, you know, everybody's body's changing now. So whoever, you know, they're probably not going to want to cleanse as much or whatnot, or maybe they're not ordering enough BV. So I go through and, you know, on, yeah, it may be, you know, crazy, but I write down who is putting orders in that week and I'll shoot them a message. You know, maybe they want to try the belly buster. Maybe they want to try the sleep spray. Maybe they want to try the sleep spray for their children. So, um... <laughs> They want to spray their kids. They want to spray their kids. <laughs> Candy spray. Um, but, you know, <laughs> check, with, check in with them as well. Because, again, the more they add into their packs, the more things they try differently, um, the more likely they're about to stay. I actually had a gal. She ordered her pack. So excited. Called me on day four said, I'm a believer, I'm a believer. And I'm like, oh, yay, I'm so excited. And she went away for that weekend and came back. And I got a message uh, on Wednesday. Okay, I need to send my stuff back. I was like, what? You were just a believer, what? So I called her up and I was like, hey, you know, I'm not trying to change your mind, but I just would like to know, you know, how you went from point A to point B so quickly. You were so happy. What changed? And it took a lot of drawing out. Um, first, she tried to tell me it was the, the chocolate. She just didn't like her chocolate. And I was like, okay. And, well, let's change that back. So, and I told her I was going to support her or whatever, but she didn't even have the pack for 30 days. Give it a real shot. Let's, let's try it. And so we finally got her. She cleansed. She didn't make it through today. So she's going to be a nightly cleanser. But she's still sticking with it. So, you know, if I didn't write her name down, I wasn't checking in with her, she would have been one of those people that already made it. So, um, So, Marquis, do you mind, like, taking a picture of your board? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm very I, visual. Yeah, I want to absolutely. see what that looks like. Absolutely. I will do that. Um, yeah, I'll, okay. and I'll post that in the group. So, also, okay. I have, um, yes, with digital age, you know, we have our calendars and whatnot but um again i have a calendar a little day planner that has an hourly schedule on it and i it's got the month and i'll write what i'm doing because 
everybody's doing everything and I want to make sure that I fill in those hours and use my time wisely plan my hours so I will cram my three-way calls between my seven and nine o'clock windows I will cram and do all that stuff but it's all organized and written out I write everything in pencil because things change and I am OCD and it has to be nice, neat, and pretty. So <laughs> if I mess it up, <laughs> I have to make it. Um, uh, let's see, what else do I do? Um, I like to plan my meals in advance um, just because it frees my time up during the week uh, as a family. Does it always happen? Like tonight, still haven't had dinner. Don't know what I'm doing. Fed the kids, but um, that's something I'm working on. And I, I don't know what else I do. Um, but I know those, those three things that I do as far as the, the boards and my calendar, free my time up. And oh, you know what I do to have? I have a notebook. How many of you guys go to bed? Or like you've got all these things racing through your head, what you've got to do tomorrow and who you've got to, okay. Um, this goes back to my photography days. Um, I would be like, oh my God, I want to do this picture. I want to do this. Or I've got to do this. I got to talk to this bride. Um, so I would have, I have a notebook next to my bed. So because if I'm constantly thinking about it, it's just going to stay there. But if I write it down, it's out of my head. I can rest. And I know I can follow up and do, take care of it the following day, fit it into my day. So those are my tips. Um, if you guys are struggling in a specific area, um, as far as, you know, scheduling or whatever, um, let's, I'll make a post in the um, Dreamers and Shakers. And after everybody's done watching this, they can post, you know, what their, um, organization what they need help with and then maybe one of us do something better than the other because I'm sure teeny might do something different that I'm like why did I think of that so um, teeny how do you what does your organization look like um well first there's two different things um one is when I first sign somebody up um, and you guys need 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 to be following the new associate checklist mm -hmm. Um, that just really helps with your organization and it makes sure that you are crossing your dot in your eyes. Um, that their uh, emails getting sent out, their welcome email. Um, and then with that, when I do that, I'm like you, Marquis, I write down um, when their auto ship date is because these brand new people need to be walked through their back office. And that's part of that checklist. And walk them through their back office before their um, auto rewards date happens. And then, um, so I just, um, right, I have my own little ISA. And, um, and so I just go through that list and make sure that's all done, including a welcome call, all that good stuff. So um, we can, if you guys, you know where this is, it's at isagenicsbusiness.com. Um, and then that's for my like newly enrolled. And then I also, um, I don't actually write down the dates, but I do like make it a habit on Sunday. I go through and see who's up and if there's been times where I forgot to do this and people aren't ordering and so then um, I write them down and then I send them a message like, hey, I'm just checking in on you. Um, I saw that you didn't order. Are you still using the products? What can I do to help you? Blah, 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 blah. So I just do that on my Sunday because, you know, I do have another job. So that just helps me stay. That's part of my Sunday task list. I am a to-do list guru. Like I love checking things off that just makes it so much better and then I create a new one so um I don't know if that would help some of you guys that are struggling with organization um but do lists are amazing um <coughs> excuse me and then um as far as contact like reaching out to people um Becca Rebecca actually sent me um a list like it's a little um chart if you will and so um, Rebecca if you want you can maybe um, post that in our group because um, I found that really helpful too and um, again it's part it's like a list you write down the person's name when you're first contacted them um, I usually put like what I sent them was it a message was it 
when I added them into the cleanse support group page because that's really important. I have forgotten to write down people's dates. And I'm like, oh, that person's in there and I haven't talked to him in two months. Whoops. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I, like it's just crazy. So I really got in the habit of writing that down as soon as I added them in there because I used to just be like, oh, I can go through my Facebook messaging. And that is so time consuming and so ridiculous. So um, even if it's just like a spiral notebook, just write it down um, or use the one that um, Rebecca, you don't mind posting that that you sent me. I don't, okay. um, but do I've read a couple different ones, so I don't remember okay. which one it is. <laughs> just, you can do any of them. It's just like the contact, uh, the three, isn't it three by three? Or maybe. Yeah. Um, so. so yeah, that's how, I mean, I just do it. I keep a running tab of people. Um, I also, if you see behind me, I have a dry erase board too. And that's where I post my goals and my end dates. Like I will be this by. Um, because that helps me stay organized as well. Um, putting your goals out there on paper, visible for you to see, um, like my sticky notes, I have that as well. So seeing those daily helps me like, okay, what do I have to do? Who do I need to contact? Who do I need to reach out to my team um, as well? So that's what I do. <laughs> you know what? I still have never put my goal on my mirror, but I – Thank you for reminding me because I'm going to do that. <laughs> I think we all should. I totally think, you know, it's going to go on my big mirror in my room behind me. I'll take a picture and post it. <laughs> so maybe that'll be a fun homework assignment for tomorrow. I'll post. Everybody post, write your goals down where you can see it and post it. And then take a picture and yep, put it in the comments. Picture. Yep. Yep. Date it. Make sure you have, you have to have a goal date. Yep. And then put it in Dreamers Love and Speakers. Yes. Okay. All right, Sam. you're up. <laughs> My yellow. <laughs> yellow, 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 yellow. Um, so when I am on my A game, um, which doesn't happen very often, but I will plan my week out a week at a time. Um, and I have a freedom planner, which uh, one of the gals in Isogenics helped make with Kayla Craft. And I like it because it's divided into hours, but it's small. And so it will fit in my purse. I don't feel like I'm carrying around this huge trapper keeper with pocket protector markers and stuff. Like I, I want something that's kind of compact. Um, and so, yes, I will plan that out a week at a time. Um, another thing that I like to do is I like to um, block out times when I'm for sure not going to be working. So, like, when my kids come home, I make it a point. It's not always consistent, but I make it a point where I'm not working between, like, I don't know, like four and eight, so that I'm giving them the time that they deserve just because I don't really see them during the day because they're at school. Um, and then, I don't know, I've really got not a whole lot else. <laughs> My organization is very loose right now, and um, that's even why I requested that we talk about this topic because I think, you know, having a dry erase board and having the uh, goals in front of your face is huge. I think visuals are huge, and I think posting them everywhere is really big. Um, one thing that I am doing that I like that's helping me get my mindset correct, which I think helps with the organization is, um, love you, honey, good night. Um, listening to a uh, mechanic to millionaire podcast. Um, he talks about, you know, getting your mindset right and things that you focus on and living in a kind of a state of positivity, you know, most of the time. And then, um, when you're feeling negative, you just got to kind of push it out because there's no room for it. And so, I tend to get down myself a lot because this organization is killing me. Um, so it's hard not to be like, and I smell like I can't do this. But now I'm in a place where I'm like, you know what? I can learn from others and I have some good qualities. So I think, you know, mind your mind is a huge part of being organized, making sure that your mind and your heart are in the right place and that you know what you're focusing on and that you're protecting that focus. Mm -hmm. Good one, Rebecca. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, you know, it is absolutely true because if you are not in that mindset, everything is going to, you know, cause I know like <laughs> my laundry is retarded <laughs> in this house. <laughs> so when I walk into a room and I see the pile, I'm like, Oh my God. And that's all that keeps, you know, I, I like obsess about it cause you know, my red and the OCD and it's just, it's just, and I can't focus on anything else. 
But, you know, I, I plan. First of all, I'd love to find somebody that just does laundry. I want to hire somebody <laughs> like a maid that just comes in every Monday and does my laundry. That would make my heart very happy. But until then, you know, I try to, you know, plan all that. But, get you know, getting things out, getting it out of your head, um, being happy. Because I know, like, today was not a happy day. Not a happy day for me. I was all over the place. Um, thank God for Brain Boost and friends that I can <laughs> call and complain and chat with. And uh, But that's what we're here for. So you guys just... I know the, the little group thread and like Teeny touched on, you know, I think that's a good place where you guys, if you're running down, just say, you know, Hey, you know, quick pop-ins, you know, Hey, I just need like the love on here and this and that, or, you know, I'm having a rough day and, you know, you know, can you pray for me? That kind of stuff. But, you know, keeping everything business and questions and the positivity because I think that's what we need to get back to is that positive happy you know let's get back on board let's get back on track um, we're halfway through this 90 day game plan guys halfway through and um, we are going to be coming up on that crystal manager pretty quickly here so for those I, I really want you guys to nail this out and so many of you have those pirates. And for those of you who do not know what a pirate is, it is one person with one person. So we just need to help them get that other person done and done. So get us on a three-way call. We can make it happen. We're good at them. Let us help you. So <laughs> but uh, anybody else have any questions or anything they want to add or any takeaways? Um, Marquis, I just one more thing. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to compare and get frustrated and think that this is easy. And by all means, this Becca, Marquis, and I have worked our booties off to get to executive. It was not easy. It was hard. It was blood for me. It was literally blood, sweat, and tears. Lots of tears. So <laughs> please don't get discouraged. Mm -hmm. No, I mean I. I'm not perfect. I have been there. I've compared myself and why me, why me, why can't I, you know, I've done all that. And all it did was bring me down. It brought my business down and it didn't make me the person that I wanted to be. And if my team sees that, then that's, that's just gross, <laughs> you know? So, um, <laughs> yes, you're allowed to feel that way. Just, I hope that if you do just make, yes, you are worth it. And you have all of us here to support and love on you. We have a new theme song. <laughs> we, I'm going to post it. That baby, I'm worth it song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to see Teeny dance to it hand. in a video. That's going to be our uh, theme song. So I think we should post a video of us dancing to that when we're in um, Arizona. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be by the pool with a couple cocktails. Don't mind us. <laughs> Maybe I'll drive out there. There you go. There you go man. <laughs> it's only 20 hours. Oh, that's it. Hey. <laughs> the day trip. Yes. All right, ladies. Well, thank you again. And we'll. Uh, be posting some stuff and you know the organ <laughs> wow I need to go to bed uh, I still have an hour left <laughs> organization <laughs> um, tips and whatnot and um, I just want you guys to be all excited this week and you know try to finish off strong this for most of you was a really good week last month so I know everybody's starting to reorder this was a high i remember cycles from last time i noticed for me too me. so guys people are getting their tax returns mm -hmm. they got invested somewhere so you know let's be creative if you guys can think about it um think let's think of maybe a fun way you know make a post or something about you know tax returns or whatever so you know something but be creative with your posts mm -hmm. I know I've said it before, but um, just make sure you are posting. I'm going to go work on my next because I haven't posted today. 
So um, also to real quick, I know, sorry, we kept you way, way too long, but um, with posting um, and being consistent, just um, one of my tips is um, if you like a quote, then take that quote and put it over a picture of you. I see a lot of quotes, a lot of quotes, a lot of quotes, and that's great. But people want to see you. People want to see your life. People want to dig deep into what, what do you have and why are you so special? Like, why is she always smiling? Why is she so happy? Why is she posting crazy pictures of herself? Put a crazy picture of yourself with a quote on top of it. And, um, um, you, if you go through my Facebook, you'll see a ton. That's I do that very often. And it's so much better than just posting just the quote. So That's what I was going to do for tonight. <laughs> Good tip. Oh. All right. Well, ladies, you have an awesome night and let's go kick some butt. Um and and we'll we'll FaceTime you while we're there. So <laughs> awesome. Okay. So Heck yeah. <laughs> and you could dance with us. We'll record it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my ringtone on my phone. Nice. Uh, All nice. right, ladies. Thank well, you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.